So Monza is the destination for today's video, guys. We'll be racing as Fernando Alonso in his Ferrari around the Italian Grand Prix circuit here in Monza. Now, just as I make this video, it's been announced that uh, Sebastian Vettel will leave Red Bull at the end of the 2014 season, possibly uh, rumouring to be a Ferrari uh, drive for him next season. So that means either Alonso or Raikkonen are going to leave, and I think it might be Alonso to possibly McLaren. Let me know in the comments what you think of, the, of that and maybe what your predictions are. But either way, here we are in Monza for another F1 2014 gameplay video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel. But here we are in Monza, in a Ferrari. Let's go to the race. So here we are in Monza, driving as Fernando Alonso in a Ferrari. It doesn't get any better than this. Starting from 22nd place, we'll try and get off to a nice and decent start here. And away we go. Looks like the initial getaway is slightly better than Marcus Ericsson, so we might be able to outdrag him as we come up to turn one. Put the car up in a fast. The engine is already starting to overheat as we barrel now towards turn one. We'll try and take an outside line coming into this first chicane. But there's nowhere really for us to go. The AI going very slowly as they do on the first lap. So Till mounting the curb there to avoid his teammate Esteban Gutierrez. We've got Maldonado right in front of us. And uh, now we're just trying to pick a gap, try and uh, find which way is the best avenue to go. We can't go to the left. It's blocked off by Esalba and Maldonado going round the outside. Had to back out of it. Maldonado was squeezing us out there. And he hits Esteban Gutierrez there. So Maldonado is extremely realistic to what he is in real life, Re replicated in this game absolutely perfectly so far. But uh, us though, we've started, uh, you know, a decent charge towards the front of the field, already up to 15th, halfway through this first lap. Jensen Button going slowly, held up by uh, one of the Salvers, and uh, he drops down into 15th place. So as we can see, Maldonado trying to find an opening up the inside as we head up to uh, Ascari now. We're going to go up the inside of a couple cars. They all break early as they were sort of I don't know, a bit scared to, to really dive it in there, but I took that position. I took about three spots there and moved up to 11th place, so that's a very good start for us. Massa now going around the outside of jean eric Verne. He breaks early. We take his spot and into the points-paying positions here on lap two, and so we'll be looking to continue to move forward as much as we can in this race. Now cutting to the start of lap three, we can see Massa harvesting his DR, his ERS, rather, and we take him up the inside. Left, left a little bit too much room there. And he's taken us back on the exit of turn one there. And uh, he's back up into ninth place. But we use the, uh, the slipstream here to get past him. And job done is P9. Uh, next up is Valtteri Bottas. And we're going to catch him coming into the hairpin. He's, he's getting held up by Kevin Magnussen. Who is also getting slowed up by Kimi Raikkonen. And it's all a bit of a pack here. All holding each other up quite a bit. As uh, the AI often do when they're battling in a pack. They can't really... Uh, make too much lap time. We get past Bottas there into P7, and we might even pass Magnussen if the DRS, or not the DRS, the slipstream is strong enough, and no, uh, we're too far back, so we'll stick behind Magnussen for now, save a bit of fuel on the start of this race. I believe we started off with minus two laps of fuel once again, so we got the inside of Magnussen into turn one, but he's got the inside line, so we'll have to leave him a bit of room. We have a much more flowing exit off the first corner, and we should be able to get him as we range up to this middle sector now. And uh, I've noticed so far in this game that different cars harvest their ERS at different places. So you can actually make some decent ground on cars if they harvest their ERS in a very bad spot. We get past Ricardo there, caught on the inside. He tried to defend, but that was just very uh, shocking defensive driving there from Ricardo. Completely screwed himself over there. And uh, now we just slip past Raikkonen, who I believe is saving fuel at this point in the race. Actually going purple to the first sector. Uh, such is the uh, time advantage of the slipstream. It gave us that much of a benefit. But we didn't go purple on that lap, unfortunately. Now we've caught up to the back of Vettel. And uh, we're into the podium positions fairly easily now with the help of DRS. And uh, now we're getting the warning to come into the pits at the end of this lap. I believe uh, we've got the two Mercedes who are just uh, within that one pit stop window of uh, pitting. So I've decided I'm going to switch to a one stop here. 
I was originally supposed to come in for a two-stop, but I think if I want to win this race, I need to do the one-stop less than the AI, and I'm going to try and command track position. Hold up the Mercs as they both make their stops now. I'm into the lead of the Grand Prix now. What I've got to do is put in really nice and clean consecutive laps and then stop for a set of primes in maybe five, six laps time. Hold up the Mercs as much as I can, try and take out as much tire life out of their tires as they can, and then when I stop, I should have the undercut on them and then eke into their lead again. It sounds a little bit complicated at the moment, I'm not the best at explaining it, but I'll do my best to explain it as we go on through this race. We've now got uh, Rosberg passing us up the inside into turn one. It looks like he might be able to get away now, unless we can use the slipstream to get past him. We put it up into fast. Hopefully the slipstream is enough to get us back past Rosberg. We'll try and get up the... In yes, he's harvesting his ERS, so he's going slightly slower. And we go up the inside coming into this hairpin, and Rosberg is not fighting us too much there as he got held on the inside there. So lap 25, my option tyres are absolutely going off the cliff now. They're, oh, not yet. They're about to. So I think it's just about time to come in for my set of prime tyres. We've got Rosberg once again passing us for the lead of the race. I'm going to try and get past him once again. We've got Lewis Hamilton as well right behind us as well. So we've got a Mercedes sandwich here and this is uh, very nerve-wracking at the moment. The tyres are just so 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 hard to manage especially on the rear end it doesn't it seem like that in this video but i was managing those rear tires so much it was so easy just to spin off in a, a, a blast of wheel spin but now lap 25 we can see we're almost going three wide with the mercedes into the final corner and i think now i'll be coming in for my pit stop i've done just about half the rates on one set of option tires i decided to come in now i've already held up the mercs enough it's the cars behind I'm now worried about. I was starting. I think I was starting to lose time to them. And if I pit now, I might just about be able to rejoin in front of the, uh, you know, the cars that are best of the rest, like the McLarens, the other Ferraris, the Red Bulls. And I think uh, with the pit stop there, 3.7 seconds. I actually think we just rejoined in front of uh, fourth place, which was Kevin Magnussen. You'll see in just a few seconds. You'll see him coming down the pit straight there. And that is Kevin Magnussen right behind us. So we pretty much timed this pit stop to perfection. If we would have made, waited one more lap, I think Magnussen would have jumped us. So that's uh, very crucial in this in this strategy, in this race. And I believe the Mercedes will be coming in very soon. I believe that's Rosberg now coming in for his stop on lap 34. And we'll see just as confirmation. He's coming out of the pit lane there. Yes, into second place we go. And I can tell you from uh, hindsight that Hamilton is going for the option prime option strategy. So he's staying out another five laps, or a few more laps, and he's going for the options. I believe Rosberg is on the primes, and Hamilton will be finishing on the options. So that's some crucial split, uh, split strategies to note in this race. We've now cut to lap 42, and now Hamilton is on the charge. He's about 10 seconds back, but for the rest of the race, he was putting in uh, consecutive qualifying laps, lap after lap, about a second a lap faster than myself, and Rosberg, who was getting held up behind myself. And uh, this is going to be a real nail-biter of a finish here. We can see lap 50. We've got Hamilton, who got past Rosberg. And now he's trying to pass me with only a few laps to go. He's on the faster option tyres. My prime tyres are really starting to go off now, uh, just like they did in the first in with the first set of option tyres we used. So lap 51, we're getting past. I think that was uh, Kamui Kobayashi, the lap car. And... Uh, it's getting very close indeed. I'm trying to break that slipstream just by weaving uh, onto other parts of the track where Hamilton can't stick behind me. And look at the tyres there getting, or my wheel rather, just uh, swaying there as we run over the, um, the marbles on the dirty line there. Now the penultimate lap, we can see Hamilton is in the slipstream. He's got DRS now. He's going to try and pass me around the outside, coming into the Ascari chicane. He might get the job done here. I need to go as deep as I can. But Hamilton holds around the outside, loses the rear end, he's got the lead of the race, and that is a fantastic overtake from an AI. Just simply amazing for the lead of this Grand Prix. Hamilton is now harvesting his ERS, so this gives us a beautiful run onto the back of his car. And uh, we go back up the inside, coming into Parabolica. Job done. We're into the lead of the Grand Prix once again. We've got a poor exit, and now Alonso is... Oh, not Alonso. Hamilton is now coming back at us. We're driving as Alonso. This is the final lap, using... The DRS, we got the DRS, that is absolutely crucial. That's going to give us a slight break now as we head on to the final 
Couple of corners, now coming through Ascari for the final time. We can see that the gap is only a tenth and a half, so it's very close at this stage. We can see Hamilton has a very nice run on the exit of Parabolica. We're using up all the revs, all the fuel. We're absolutely fine on fuel, so we can afford to just burn up all that fuel in the revs. We're going defensive into the final corner. We've got a very poor exit. Hamilton has a decent run on us as we come out of the exit of Parabolica. And coming up to the line, we've got our very first win on the F1 2014 game. Great job, great job, what a win. So there we go, our first race win on F1 2014. Hopefully it's not the last either, but that was probably one of my most favorite races I've had in the last few months, and that says a lot considering some of the races you guys have seen on the channel. If we can hit a thousand likes on this video, that'll be really, really appreciated for this video. I'm really trying to get out as many videos as I can for you guys, uh, just so you guys can have a decent grasp of what this game will be like when you guys pick it up in just a few weeks' time. This is only the preview build, so the uh, finish game is probably going to be a little bit more refined than this. But uh, yeah, in terms of this race, we had, I think, 12 runners finishing on the lead lap. Um, we won from Alon from Hamilton. Only just, though. But uh, yeah, what a race that was. That'll do this video for today. If you have any suggestions as to what tracks I should do next in a 100% race, I'm probably thinking Canada or Silverstone. Let me know in the comments. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Until my next video, I'll see you guys next time.